welcome back to my channel today I've got a bonus video for you I've gone and done the TMI tag because you guys seem to be enjoying getting to know me getting to know me a little bit better and I want you guys to know me a little bit better and I want to know you guys a little bit better so leave me your answers in the comment section down below so I can read your TMI tag as well it might take you a long time but I promise you I will read every single comment that you leave so without further ado let me get into it because this is the longest tag I've ever seen in my entire life there's like a million questions here so hopefully I'll not put you to sleep all right question one what are you wearing I'm wearing a white t-shirt and track pants which you can't see but they're just track pants and some socks because it's very cold in Australia at the moment question two ever been in love I am in love at the moment I have a fiance I'm engaged and he's Irish and beautiful aside from him I'm also in love with Bill and Tom Cowlitz and Billy Corgan question three ever had a terrible breakup I've had one terrible breakup and I never ever want to go through that again. Question four, how tall are you? I am five foot four. Question five, how much do you weigh? I know a lot of people have refused to answer this. I weigh 48 kilos. I've weighed 48 kilos since I was like 17. My weight, no matter what I do, it does not go up, it does not go down. I don't know why, don't ask me. I think it's just in my genes, my mum and my sister. And me, we all have the exact same body shape. If you see us from behind, it's hard to figure out which one of us is which. Except that they're both a little bit taller than me. But yeah, that's just my genes. I don't think my body's going to change. Question six, any tattoos? I, at the moment, have two tattoos. I've got SSS on my wrist. And on this wrist, I have Guns N' Roses lyrics in German. Question seven, any piercings? Oh man, I've had so many piercings in my life. But at the moment, I only have my ears pierced. How lame is that? That to me is lame because I am a piercings girl. I have had my lip pierced, I had my nose pierced, I had to take them out for my job. My job did not allow any piercings except one piercing in each ear hole, which is a load of crap if you ask me. Aside from my lip and my nose, which I'm gonna get done again within the next few weeks, BTW, let me know your thoughts on that. I've had my entire ear pierced. So I've had, well obviously these ones got these done when I was a kid. I've had this hole done, that one's still there but I can't get any earrings into it. I had my top ones done on each ear, I've had here done, I've had like everywhere done pretty much. And then every single time I would take the earring out, I would forget to put a new one in and my piercing holes close up within like a day, I kid you not. Question 8, OTP. What the flying camel is an OTP? I'm gonna google that, I'll be back in one sec. One true pairing, OTP is one true pairing. What sort of a question is that, who even cares? One true pairing. Oh man, Vikings! Do any of you watch Vikings? I am absolutely obsessed with the show Vikings. Oh, So, one true pairing would be Lagatha and Ragnar from Vikings. They are meant to be together, I hope they get back together. Uh, question 9, favourite show Vikings and Peaky Blinders and Poldark. I like historical shows. Question 10, favourite bands. Okay, now we're going to be here all night because I have so many favourite bands. My life is all about bands and rock music. That is my greatest love. My ultimate favourite band of all time, which I'm sure you guys already know, is Guns N' Roses. Axl Rose is my hero of the world. My second favourite band would probably be Tokyo Hotel. Third favourite, The Doors. Fourth favourite, Led Zeppelin. Then I love Creedence Clearwater, Smashing Pumpkins, ACDC, Motley Crue, Van Halen, The Script, Ramstein, Marilyn Manson, Slipknot. I could go on and on and on, but I won't. I will spare you. If you guys like any of the same bands as me, comment down below. We can bond. Okay, question 11. Something you miss. Oh, I miss my grandma and my dad and my papa and my nan and pop. Question 12. Favourite song. I do not have a favourite song. I have a favourite song depending on my mood. So, for example, with Guns N' Roses, depending on my mood, I have a song that I will listen to for each mood. Like if I'm feeling upset or down, I always listen to Estranged. If I am going to go out and party or be drinking, I listen to like Night Train or Mr. Brownstone, that kind of thing. Question 13. How old are you? I am 26. Question 14, zodiac sign. I am a Leo. <laughs> Question 15, quality you look for in a partner. I like small teeth. I like kind of crooked small teeth. Strong eyebrows, a nice shaped nose, red lips, hair. I preferably like long hair on a man, tight jeans. That's about it. I like men that are a little bit weird, a little bit left of center, and very strong in their convictions. Question 16, favorite quote. My favourite quote, probably, oh I've got two actually, I've got one tattooed on my wrist and the other one I'm going to get tattooed within the next few weeks on my thigh. The one I want to get tattooed on my thigh is, live today how you will wish you had lived when you are dying. That will also be in German because I am 
of German heritage. Question 17, favorite actor? Mm, I don't really care about actors. Not really an actor kind of girl. I like musicians. If I had to have a favorite actor, I would say... Killian Murphy. Question 18, favorite color? Pink. Question 19, loud music or soft? Loud. Soft music makes me so angry. Like if a song is playing quietly, it just, it frustrates me so much. I just want to slam the CD player or whatever I'm listening to against the wall, smash it into smithereens. I'm like, play louder. Or if you try and turn up the volume and it turns up a bit, but like it doesn't go as loud as you want it to. Oh my God, it frustrates me to no end. So loud that my neighbors can hear it. Question 20, where do you go when you're sad? If I'm sad, I will go up to my attic or go and snuggle in the lounge with my dogs. I've got three dogs. Otherwise, I really like to go to Cornell. That's like in the Shire in Sydney, which probably means nothing to you guys. But there's like a very calm beach there and I will sit in my car and feel sorry for myself. Question 21, how long does it take you to shower? Oh man, this bugs me. I hate showering because I never want to do it. It just seems like such a chore. Don't worry guys, I do, I shower every day, but it takes me so long. It must take me like, 15 to 25 minutes to shower, and if I'm washing my hair, half an hour to 40 minutes, which I know is absolutely ridiculous. There is no need for that. What a random question, by the way. Question 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? This is another thing that bugs me about myself. If I am like just lounging about the house or doing chores or whatever, I don't do anything, I don't wear any makeup, I just like bum around. If I'm going out somewhere, especially if I do actually want to look good, it'll take me like an hour. Usually longer. I, it'll take me about an hour and a half to get ready. Question 23. Ever been in a physical fight? No, I don't think so. However, once when I was, I think I was 18, I was at a nightclub called Carmen's in the Shire in Sydney with my ex-boyfriend. And basically there's a dance floor and I was pulling my ex-boyfriend, who was my boyfriend at the time, onto the dance floor and I tripped over something as I was walking there. And I just kept walking because it's the dance floor. Like, what do you expect? You're going to trip. Especially I was wearing heels and I can't walk in heels. And so I kept walking and then all of a sudden I just went flying. Somebody had pushed me from behind and I went flying across the room and I turned around and this big girl was standing there and she's like, you knocked over my drink, bitch. And me, because I'd had a few drinks, I was all staunch and I was like, what, you wanna fight, blah, blah, anyway. She actually tried to punch me and my ex-boyfriend knocked her arm out of the way and I took that opportunity to run away <laughs> like a little scared brat. So I just left the club and ran home and I was like, <laughs> so scary. No, not really, but I didn't get in a fight after all that. Question 24, turn on. Small teeth, intelligence, strong convictions, talent, strength, positivity, that's all. Turn off. Negativity, pessimism, short hair. Question 26, the reason I joined YouTube. I'm going to do a whole video on this because that will take me way too long to answer, so I am going to withhold that information. Question 27, fears. My fears would be dying. I don't think I'd like to die very much. Flying, that is like my phobia of the entire world. It never used to be. I used to be able to fly from here to the UK on my own. Absolutely fine. I had no issues. Now with all those planes that have just been dropping out of the sky lately, I'm totally freaked out. I cannot fly to Ireland to even visit my fiance's family because I'm too freaking scared. I'm going to get a ship there. How long will that take? Question 28. Last thing that made you cry. Um, I never really cry, to be honest. If I'm sad, I stay sad but I don't cry because the way I see it, what is crying really going to achieve? It's not going to fix the solution. If I've got a problem and I feel sad, I am more of a solutions girl. I will like try my hardest to fix whatever is upsetting me rather than just cry over it. So I'm not really a crier. Question 29, last time you said you loved someone. I tell my fiance I love him every single day. I tell my sister I love her every day. I tell my mom I love her every day. I tell my dogs I love them every second. I'm always telling people I love them because I love people so much. I tell you guys I love you all the time as well. I do, I love you. Question 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. My YouTube name is Steffi La La Lang, which is so lame. I do not know what my meaning was behind that, but I cannot change it. Ugh. So it's stuck as Steffi La La Lang. Question 31, last book you read. Shires, what is the last book I read? Probably Fifty Shades of Grey. That is not cool at all. I actually love reading, but I have had no time to read lately. Question 32, the book you're currently reading. Eh, uh, none. Question 33, last show you watched. I watched The Only Way is Essex last night. Question 34, last person you talked to. I talked to my dog Gunnar because he was sitting on the chair over there and I wanted to go and sit there and he wouldn't move. So I sat on him and he still wouldn't move. So I stood back up and I was like, 
Gunnar, where are your manners? Get up, your mother wants to sit down. Although he's not a person, he's a dog, so mm. I don't know, I've been alone all day, so I've not really spoken to anybody. I'm a loner. Question 35, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. I last texted my fiance and he's my fiance. Question 36, favorite food. Garlic bread and guacamole and garlic in general. Question 37, place you want to visit. I want to go back to Ireland. That is one of my favorite places in the entire world. I want to visit LA, New York, Germany, the motherland. That's all really. I'm not much of a traveler. Question 38, last place you were. Uh, where was I? Oh, I walked across the Harbour Bridge the other day because my father-in-law was visiting from Ireland and we wanted to show him the Harbour Bridge so we like walked along it so I guess that was the last place I was that is interesting. Question 39, do you have a crush? Yes, Bill and Tom Cowlitz and Billy Corgan. Question 40, last time you kissed someone. I kissed my dogs 24-7, they all have lipstick on their heads. I kissed my fiancé before he went to work this morning but that's a pretty boring answer to this question. Question 41, last time you were insulted. I'm on YouTube, so I get insulted like every minute of every hour of every day. Question 42, favorite flavor of sweet. By sweet, I presume it means lolly, and I don't like any lollies. I am not a lolly girl at all, so I do not have a favorite flavor. Question 43, what instruments do you play? I play piano and guitar. Question 44, favorite piece of jewelry. At the moment, I'm loving this bracelet. This is from Love and Pieces. I will link it down below for you. It is the most beautiful bracelet I've had in a long time. It like screws on and off. So this has been on my wrist for two weeks straight. Question 45, last sport you played. I do not play sport. I suck at sport. I suck at any physical activity except Zumba. Question 46, last song you sang. Uh, I was singing along to Shakira this morning while I was like dancing in front of my mirror. <laughs> Question 47, favorite chat up line? Um, what the heck? I don't have one. Question 48, have you ever used it? No. Question 49, last time, uh, last time you hung out with anyone? I am a loner, like I said. I am so antisocial, I'm such a hermit, so the last time I hung out with anyone was like mm, a couple of weeks ago. Question 50, who should answer these questions next? I want all of you guys to answer the questions and leave me them in comments down below. Hopefully the comment section is big enough that you can do that because like I said at the start, I want to read your answers and get to know you better because you're getting to know me better and it's just a nice fair deal that way. That is the end of the TMI tag. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. I hope I didn't bore you to tears. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!